Hello. Hello. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Hello, and welcome to Dawn's Craft Riot. Uh, I'm back. Sorry I wasn't here for the past couple weeks, guys. It's been crazy. I had some energy. I decided to rearrange my room. Then I had everything pulled out everywhere, and I couldn't do a show that Saturday. So that was disappointing, but there really, everything was everywhere. I couldn't access my tools or clear anything off. So, uh, so I wasn't here the one weekend when I felt great. And then the next weekend, I did not feel so great anymore. So I've been gone now for two weeks and I apologize for that. Hi Vince. Hello other viewers. Hello. 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 More of the same for me. Jeez. <laughs> So I decided to do something really simple today because I did not know how I was going to feel when I woke up because I would, like I say, I was not, I was ill last week, uh, which put a, put a kibosh on the finishing the rearranging. So, uh, then after I got better, I ended up going to a concert, which was wonderful and very enjoyable, a weird Al concert, but, uh, I did a lot of head nodding at that concert and so then I was sore again after that so I picked something really simple so that no matter how I felt <laughs> I could come and do a show for you guys thank you thank you I'm glad to be feeling better and I managed in the past couple of days to get most of my rearranging done although I mean at least the picking up done I still have some swapping around to do, but I need to, that's, that's something that involves a, a lot of thinking about where things go. And so that's, I'm well underway with that. And I've got a couple of clean spaces for working. So let's, let's do this. <laughs> All right. So I hope everybody else is also feeling well. Today I'm going to I'm going to base my card that I'm going to make off of a freshly made sketches sketch sketch number 202 from freshly made sketches.blogspot.com. I just typed in card sketches uh, with sketches misspelled because I have a trouble I have a trouble remembering how to spell that. <laughs> and Google corrected it and then I had a list of things to choose from and I chose this one because it was easy to find and it was quite simple. I do not remember. They said the name. I think the designer might have been Amy. Anyhow, I'm not certain. If you want to make this card, you can go and look at their sketch or make a card using a sketch like this. Of course, any card you make is going to be different because we're all making different stuff. Oh, hi Fab. I'm sorry you couldn't get in. It's nice that you're here. Thank you. All right. So this is my, it's kind of huge for a card. I'm going to have a regular size card, not a paper size card, but I didn't size it properly. So we've got to just sort of uh, guess what sizes we're doing here. So I'm going to do a top fold card. I've cut the paper in half, a piece of cardstock in half the long way and scored it in half the other way. And there we go. We're going to have a top fold long card, Halloween style based on this, like I say, we'll have to scale down and I'm not doing math to do that. So it'll be what it'll be. I'm going to use these really cool papers or some really cool papers from this, uh, what does it say? Kelly Panacci. I'm not sure if that's how she says her name, but anyhow, uh, this is an old, old paper. As you know, most of my paper is old. It might've been new when I got it, but likely it was old when I got it because I like to get the deals on the paper. So this might have been from last Halloween or the Halloween before that. I'm not certain when they put it out. But there's 28 sheets, pardon me, sheets in here. <laughs> sheets, that is. 28 sheets in here. Some of them have foil. We don't do math. Yes. If at all possible, I'm not doing math. All right, so I picked paper already. I want to do something so simple. I'm really into simple today, as I keep saying over and over and over. Won't shut up about it. I have some black paper. We might do some matting. I picked this sheet that has pumpkins on one side and a houndstooth in a green with another green sort of distressed version of that. You can see on the edges, there's a little bit of sort of distressy stuff going on. 
Can Company's beautiful paper. So I, th I don't think we're going to need anything more. I mean, I've got my white, half a sheet of white cardstock. I do have some black cardstock for matting. I'm not certain if we're going to do two mats or just one. Hi, Kath. Thank you for stopping in for a short visit. That's awesome. I've been thinking about you. You've been on my mind. I've been trying to figure out how to incorporate those beautiful embroidery floss threads that you gave me some time ago, and I'm still not finding projects worthy of those beautiful things, but I am, I've am. i been thinking about you. <laughs> You've been on my mind. So thank you for stopping in. So I think we can achieve the look with just this one sheet of paper. I figure for the main background, we'll do the, the pumpkin pattern. Then for this little piece, we'll do the green. Oh, I do, sorry. I said one sheet of paper, but I forgot that we need a banner. And for the banner, I did pull another sheet of paper from the same set. And then of course I stacked it in a pile so I could lose it easily. And we'll use a sheet of, of one or more of these rows as our banner and then for the little they've got a button embellishment but it, i'm not going to use a button i'm going to use one of the pumpkins from here i've already cut out a couple as you can see and i've gone kind of small because i'm trying to remember that my uh that my card is sized down from this so i've cut out a couple pumpkins and we're gonna emboss those to make them glossy that'll be the little accent and we may add, now I see that on here my, my sentiment fits, so this might be way too big for what we're doing, but we may add a sentiment on this green paper. So that's my plan. Let's execute it. Oh, and the stamp, sorry, my stamp is from Inka Dinka Doo. Hello, Lucy Lipstick. Meow. <laughs> yeah, when I do figure out what to do with that beautiful stuff you gave me, I will show you. Don't you worry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> your kitty cat is not saying hi so much as she's saying, notice me, notice me, do something for me. I'm a kitty cat. I'm looking forward to getting my own, oh, <laughs> kitty cat one day. I said, oh, because I realized that I've cut this down to fit and there's no reason for me to set it aside and start cutting this down. <laughs> oh, let me scroll down. My chat did the weird thing where it pops up like I've got time to scroll through chat. All right. So I have cut this to four and a quarter. Oh, and this is where my, where I was trying to decide if I should matter or not, because you may be able to see, but I've cut this slightly it's slightly narrower than this white card, but I think instead of matting, I'm just going to hit the white card with some black ink. <laughs> oh, I've got a sense of what cats are thinking. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I could just tell from what you were saying. I just guessed. There we go. Um, oh my goodness. Let's find the black, the black. I feel like I haven't done this for about a million years, guys two weeks off and I'm super rusty. And of course I moved everything around. <laughs> I'm getting out of blender. I wasn't planning on using any distress ink. That's why I didn't have my blenders ready. Oh, try not to rip off your Velcro. Oh, they got them Velcros. All right. Now I've got ink on my fingers. That's always good, but not perfect for card making, but oh well. All right, I'm gonna use some of my scrap paper. Cats are usually thinking food and sleep. Yes, that's true. That sounds accurate. A bit like that. <laughs> You're just saying that because he can't type back. Okay, so I'm just going to hit the edges of this with some black so that it's not so jarring sticking out from underneath my sort of slightly improperly cut top piece. It's not exactly right because like many trimmers, my trimmer is not exactly square. 
and very cute. Yes, that's another another thing that cats share with Fab. Their cuteness. <laughs> you think I don't know? <laughs> Okay, so that's plenty of ink. I went way in. There's all I needed it was on the very edges, but blending blending ink is so fun. You get into it. All right. Hi, Carrie. I'm just pausing for a Oh, that's neat looking. Pausing for a drink of water. But I am making a Halloween card, a super easy Halloween card. Just gonna cut down my piece to fit on the front. Oh, I got a bit of a. I thought the top of this paper had perforations. I knew if I thought long enough, the word would come to me. So I went to bend it on the perforation, but it turned out that there was no perforation. There was just that white strip at the top that you often get. I'll show you like so with the hole in it for displaying and keeping it in the pad and everything. So I bent it and there is no, there was no perforation. So there's a bend line up there. So I am going to use the bottom of this piece or I don't know, maybe, maybe not exactly the bottom. I do want some of these, of these faces to show, and I'm going to be putting a big green square in the middle of it. So let's, let's, see what we get if I ever get my trimmer rack. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm glad you saw my Facebook post. I know that they don't always show up and often they show up after, after the show is finished. So I apologize for that. So I'm just going to trim the bent part of the end of this off or somewhere. So I get some pumpkin faces showing out around. So so that'll be the top. And then because this is a half of 11, it's going to be five and a half. So I'm just going to cut this piece to five and a half, sort of five and a half, not exactly right. Because like I say, my trimmer is not exactly square. And then I'm also going to touch this with that black ink. That I should have been thinking about beforehand instead of thinking I don't need anything other than paper for this project because I don't want white sticking out on the edges of my Halloween project. Should always keep distress ink in mind. All right. And we're going to need this trimmer again. So we might as well trim down our next pieces. So that's going to go right on here. And then I also need a piece to go inside. So let's think about how big I want this piece. Oh, we have a nice red sky over London. That sounds beautiful. I'm trying to find my sketch here. And of course I've piled everything I'm using on top of it. So I'm going to be using I think I'm going to leave this square, which is a great square for something else or rectangle and use a piece of the green from where I've already, like from near where I've already cut a hole in it. So I think I'm just going to look at this as a reference and then draw a mark as to where I want to cut this because it does not have to be exactly the same. So I want it to be in, let's say about looking for ratios. You have a nice gray sky over Scotland. Excellent. That sounds exactly right. Sounds like what should be. Do it up to there. Uh, a gray sky over Scotland sounds perfect to me. We've got blue sky, which is great. We've had some freezing cold, not, not exactly freezing cold. I shouldn't say that as a Canadian. If I say freezing cold, I should actually mean freezing, not freezing cold, but very fall like conditions happening, which I think is maybe why I wasn't feeling so well. Maybe why I caught that bug. All right, so this is not exactly the same proportions that they have going on. I could cut this a bit shorter for that. 
but I do like it. So I think we're going to leave it this size. You, you mean the gray sky means it stopped raining and you can see the sky. That's awesome. That's always a good thing. <laughs> yes, the blue sky in Scotland is something that I just don't even, doesn't even compute in my mind. Oh, and I notice I've cut on the wrong side of my, the wrong side of my uh, mark here. And instead of erasing it, I'm just going to trim it down a bit, just a smidge, because I don't feel like using the eraser. <laughs> is that lazy or what? super lazy oh it looks like you've been kicked out but you came back I would love to go to Scotland I'd love to go to England for that matter when it happens I will let you folks know and we can visit or you can direct me to a nice coffee shop or pub or something <laughs> whatever you prefer I won't insinuate myself on you. <laughs> See, I'm saying that in the hopes that it makes it happen. If I say I'm going there, then don't I have to go there? Hurry up and come visit. <laughs> yeah, Vince, go back to Scotland and make it sunny. Okay, I'm going to mat this. Decisions on the fly. I'm going to mat this on black by sticking it to the black with my double-sided tape. I think it'd be awesome. I'd love to travel. I'd love to come see England and Scotland. Possibly Ireland. Like, why not? Why not go to all the places? You have lots of pubs. Yes. That's, I, I said coffee shops and then I thought, well, maybe it'd be easier to find a good pub. You can always hope. I'm putting so much tape on here, guys. Like, if this comes loose, <laughs> I can't pick it up. If this comes loose, I would be very surprised. There's hardly any pubs in London. Well, I'm sure I could find a coffee shop in London. Or an expensive grocery store. <laughs> Whenever I watch YouTubers from London, they're always putting expensive not I say whenever I mean like not not crafter youtubers or whatever but just like YouTube personalities from London they're always putting what looks like extremely expensive packages of food in their fridge you had five pubs shut down near you wow that sounds like a bad market for pub owners Tons of coffee shops. Yes, that makes sense. Coffee shops are the new pubs. Okay, because <laughs> I'm sliding this ever so slightly back and forth to try and get a fairly even mat without measuring. There we go. That's a decent mat. We'll all live with that. Oh, and lots of pubs have shut down in, in Scotland as well. It's a it's a rough time, I think, for a lot of businesses. All right. And now we're talking about the tragedy of business. Good grief. <laughs> I am off track. All right. What do I need to do? I'm sitting here thinking, I know there's another step. What's the step? What do I need to do? All right. Yeah, people are staying in. Well, and I think that happens too because people get, uh, for one, it's cheaper, but also there's all kinds of new technology. So you can watch whatever you want at home. You got your big TV. I mean, I don't know. It's might probably different in North America, but I don't know. Yes. Matting. Awesome. All right. So I am taking my Versamark ink and I'm sticking my ink pad. That's not clean. I should have probably checked that before I wrecked it. Um, 
I have to really empty this pad out and re-ink it with clean ink. But in the meantime, it seems like it's clear enough. I want to make these guys glossy. You could use glossy accents to do this. Uh, I'm going to use clear embossing powder. I'm only do I'm doing two of them because I don't know which one's going to be best. I did try and pick the smaller ones, trying to remember that even though those the big ones were really cute. I mean, they're all really cute, but the card is much smaller than the than my plan, like I was showing you there. My plan, my sketch. I didn't plan it. Nice. Watch X Factor while eating a carry out, which we'd call takeout. And uh, then they go out to the club. That makes sense. All right. So now I got to try and lift this up without wrecking it and get that embossing powder off of it. You want to see fancy footwork? Yeah, me too. I don't know if I have any. There we go. Tip, tip, tap. All right. Oh my gosh, I'm being touched by embossing powder. I mean, I'm touching embossing powder. Ugh. Yeah, the streets are getting less and less safe. I will agree with that for sure. I stopped going out, but we don't have the same kind of pubs here, really. I mean, we have pubs. But there's a few public houses, I guess, but it's more like clubs, and I'm not really into it. Wasn't that great? I didn't destroy them at all. Now let's see what happens when I try and heat them up. I think I, I should have something I could hold it down with. So they're, oh no, they're not off the camera. I'm going to do it way over here then since they're not off the camera or maybe, maybe I'll try and do it closer. If I put both of the stems together, I can hold the stems down and the stems already have a little bit of a glossy, uh, a glitter thing going on, but I've got these tweezers. So if I can hold them both down at the same time, I'll get that going like that. Hold them down. Uh, I have to hold it down here. And then I'll get this guy. All right. Fancy footwork, friends. I'm moving that into my left hand because I think holding these down will be easier with the right hand. Now I should have probably heated this up ahead of time, but oh well. Or even tried this to see if it will work, but it seems to be working. So Perfect. <laughs> that worked out great, guys. Ta-da! Oh yes, mind the fingers. I do. I find my fingers very important to me. So now we've got two choices of super glossy pumpkin. Woo! <laughs> Neat, hey? I'm glad how that worked out. Oh, and I still need my, you guys, <laughs> I still need my trimmer because I haven't cut out the strip to go across. I guess I could use my, uh, I guess I could use my scissors if I had to. You see, don't burn your fingers. It makes me, uh... oh, geez. You see, don't burn your fingers. It makes me think of um, Lindsay Wyrick, the frugal crafter. She always says, don't burn your hands off. Which I find hilarious because, I mean, it would take a lot of work to actually burn your hands off. But anyway, <laughs> yes, here, I will, I will say your word of warning. Kath says, now this is for all you viewers who are not watching the live recording and therefore are not reading the chat. She says, a word of warning, don't put a hot heat gun, like a hot glue gun, or a hot heat gun, sorry, hot heat gun, said hot glue, thinking glue onto a micro fleece because it will melt it. And that makes all kinds of sense to me. Do not, do not put your hot heat gun onto a micro fleece. There you go. You, you have been warned. <laughs> okay, guys, let's pick what banner we want to put across with our cute little guy. 
apparently now I talk like an idiot. I kill a guy. <laughs> Do we want words? Do I think? Let's see if we can fit. Make sure you start when your fingers start bubbling. Make sure you stop when your fingers start bubbling. Nice. <laughs> Make sure you stop. All right, so we could use a very thin, oh, and now my, oh, that was really lucky. My sketch just did this thing where the puff of air blew it away, but it landed, even though it went across a gap of a half a foot there, it landed on my desk, my computer desk, so that's fun. All right, I could maybe fit trick or treat if I put this up really high, but I don't think I want to do that. I think my trick or treat is a way too big of a sentiment. Which is a shame because it's really pretty. Bye, Vance. Thank you for being here. See you next time. What time is it? It's 26 minutes after. Oh, my super simple card. It's just going to take like forever. <laughs> All right. I think what I'm going to do is cut out. Uh... Yeah, say hi to Fab. Hi, Fab. Bye, Fab. Enjoy your dinner. <laughs> I think I'm going to pick one that has words on it because I don't think that my sentiment is going to fit. So let's go ahead and maybe cut out the one with All Hallows Eve on it. And maybe on the inside we'll put Happy Halloween or Trick or Treat or something. Bye, Vince. All right. So let's pick one with the words and then decide exactly where you're going to cut it. as you hear me breathe out. All right, I'm gonna use the trimmer because if I'm breathing out before I cut something, that means I'm trying to hold more still. So if I'm trying to hold more still, I might as well just do this with the, with the cutter. All right, I was gonna cut purple, but you know, I like this section a little bit better. So let's cut this section out. And then we can get a little bit of this uh, fence post line thing going on underneath it. I'll leave a little bit of that orange as well, maybe. We will have a nice big, a nice big wide banner. Erg. <laughs> Sorry guys, and now I'm thinking in my head quietly to myself. That'll help everybody. I'm trying to decide what section of this to put on the card. I think maybe the trick or treat is going to be the best because we've also got the whole uh, little glossy dude to put on there. Maybe even both. I don't know. We'll find out. Let's cut it down so that we can use the trick or treat. And this I think we'll do with scissors because we'll want to cut it uh, at that little point, the little angle, the banner point. Oh, yes. That is correct. I have words in my head that I don't always come out. I feel so bad about cutting out these, cutting off these words on the other side. Does anyone ever feel bad? I guess I'm not the only person that's ever felt bad about cutting up paper. You know, I might have to turn it this way. No, I'm just going to make those ends a little bit shorter, a little bit of a different angle. I don't want to fold this in half to do my angle because then I'll destroy my words. And I don't know if that trick or treat is going to fit. I don't think it's going to fit. It would fit if I turned it this way. Oh, sorry. Sorry to have you just hang out here while I agonize over that. I think I might have to, I might have to drop it down to a smaller section of this. So 
I'm going to keep creepy as the centered word. I'm going to cut into this. Oh my goodness, I feel really guilty. <laughs> oh, paper. And I've still made it too big, so I have to make that even smaller. And I think I'm definitely going to put a happy Halloween sentiment on the inside because it doesn't say happy Halloween on the outside. There we go. It's one of those things you're just disappointed with yourself. Oh, and also, by the way, I keep cutting this down because I've left myself a weird slice in there somehow. Come on, focus. So I'm trying to fix it, but I think this is as fixed as it gets. And we're going to have to put a little weird guy over it. And I think instead of the little sentiment we're going to have, I'm going to put my other glossy guy down there. So let's glue this all down and see what it looks like. Glue-ma-doo. Quick dry Elmer's glue is what I'm going to use. And we're we're almost there. We're almost at the finish line, guys. So typical. I have an easy project. It'll just take me over a half an hour to make it for you. <laughs> That's the way it is in my world. Sometimes things take a long time. But at least we're all here. It's good times. Thank you, Kath. I think it's looking okay as well. Even with all of that agonizing about where on earth I'm gonna put my put my weird business. By weird business, I mean this particular banner. <laughs> A weird thing to say. Weird business. It's good to be back. Halloween was very cool as a kid, I will agree. Sometimes a little bit scary going to people's houses. I'm gonna pop my little guy up on some foam dots. There we go. Like I know I have foam dots around here. You didn't do trick-or-treating, you went out guising. I'm not sure what that is. I feel like I've heard that term before, but I'm not sure if I know what that is. I'm assuming it's a Scottish thing. I really do feel like I've heard that before. Ha! I love how the pop dot puts this guy up. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I see. You had to you had to sing or tell a joke instead of just demanding candy like a little hooligan. And he was going out in disguise. I get ya. Nice. Sounds like good times. So there's the front of the card. Come on, show how glossy those guys are. I love how glossy those guys are. Uh, I'm just going to set that off to the side for a second here while we stamp the inside of the car. Car. Card. Oh, I see we lost Carrie. That is all right. Uh, I'm going to put trick or treat inside. I've already got it here. Oh, sure. You have to go out in disguise so that the spirits don't recognize you. The evil spirits, of course. That sounds like it makes all kinds of sense. Ooh, what if we put that inside too? Actually, what if we put that in? Uh, I'm putting trick or treat. <laughs> I'm putting it in. <laughs> it's happening. Yeah, I I th I really like that glossy glossy pumpkins. Trick or treat. 
<laughs> it's a great stamp. All right. So I think I'm going to leave the, uh, actually, no, I'm going to stick that at the bottom. I was going to leave it off, but I'm sticking it at the bottom. This is what's happening. This is happening now. I have heard of making lanterns out of turnips. That's very cool. It sounds much more difficult than making a lantern out of a pumpkin because a pumpkin is just really hollow inside. Isn't that font excellent? The trick or treat. I could have put it up higher now that I've decided to put the ha happy Halloween at the bottom, but I still love it. I love it. Just use some more of this glue because I've got it out and this is a heavy piece. So why not use some liquid glue? This is the quick dry Elmer's because I'm sadly lacking of Tombow right now. I could also use Beacon, but you do have to swirl it around and watch out for its trails and tails. I would love to see a pumpkin and pardon me, a turnip carved. That sounds awesome. What a great memory. To have, I don't mean like it's great. You can remember that. That is great. But I mean that what that what that's an awesome thing to remember. Your grandpa making you a turn up lantern. Oh, nice! And it smelled well. Yeah, we had the same thing where it smells like a pumpkin. The pumpkin is cooking because of the the candle. But yeah, with turn up, that would be awesome. Although I must admit, I only like turnips raw. I'm not really into cooked turnips so much. <laughs> Not, not so much my thing. All right, I'm just holding this down so that the glue can catch. And that, I bet it was fun. I bet. All right. So that, my friends, is that. That is how you, I'm just sliding this up a bit because I it is quick dry, but I think I have a little bit of playroom because I see it sticking out over the bottom. I might trim that up or I might just leave it as is. So there is my Halloween card. Cooked turnip does not taste good. That is true. <laughs> Hi, Tambit. I'm just finishing up here, but everything is going to be recorded. Oh, well, that's the other thing I wanted to mention. Um, I want, I want, ooh, having turnips as a staple diet does not sound like something I'd be into. Although, yeah, I think I've had plenty of turnip in the winter here. <laughs> but yeah, I did want to let you know. What was it that I wanted to let you know? There is something. Oh yeah, last time, last time I recorded, I mentioned that uh, I was going to, you know, I had all of my recordings as ready to upload to my computer. It turns out I have my settings wrong, so I haven't been saving everything and we might not, we might lose some videos. Oh, that's okay, Carrie. I, everything is recorded. Although as I'm, as I'm letting everyone know, we, we might lose some videos because of the way that things are set up. And now I can't change my settings. They've changed things. So I can't tell it to save to my computer unless I'm missing something, but I did try to read everything and I went through and looked at all the different settings. So, um, anyways, we might lose some videos, but I'm going to work on getting them, um, somewhere more, uh, like where they can be stored for longer because I don't have a, a whole ton of storage doing the free thing. So I will do my best to maintain old videos, but uh, it's not going to be quite as easy as I thought it was going to be. So that's just, just filling you in on that. And yeah, I'm sorry you came right at the end of the, uh, of the show, but like I say, this recording will be up and it's just a cute, simple card. I based it on a freshly made sketches sketch. So that's at freshly made sketches.blogspot.com if you want to check that out because I think sometimes it's super handy to have a sketch to give you an idea. And then it helps to have some really cool papers. But if you don't, you can do it with like just plain paper. You can do whatever you want, guys. You can do it. I believe in you. So I hope to be back next Saturday. If not, I will be back the Saturday after that, uh, you know, unless unforeseen circumstances arrive, like what happened last two weeks, but hopefully everything will be groovy back underway with our fall schedule. 
uh, maybe next week I'm looking at doing something with uh, this really cool um, uh, edge, edge puncher from Martha Stewart that's got some leaves. It's perfect time of season, time of year to be doing that. So perhaps we'll do that next time. And until then, I will see you later. Thank you for coming. Bye-bye.